Welcome, looters, to the really awesome unboxing of Horizon Forbidden West Collective Edition. Oh man, this is going to be absolutely dope. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. But having a look at the packaging, fellas, oh my goodness, man, this bad boy arrived when I was at work, so apologies for the late kind of teaser profile, but over here, you guys could see this beautiful looking box. Let's kind of undress this box right now. Really surprised at how big this box is. It is absolutely massive. Oh, man, this is huge. And it smells mm, so ever fresh. It smells like a newborn baby. <laughs> That's a bit gross though, but having a look over here, fellas. Whoa, Horizon Forbidden West Collector Edition. At the bottom over here, it says no game disc. Voucher included for PS4 and PlayStation 5 digital editions. So you'll be able to play this bad boy on your PS4, which is pretty dope. But I'm really loving the front image over there. So we could see Alloy in her glory there. Having a look at how awesome the imagery of this front box is like. I could talk the entire day, fellas. But this is beautiful. Man, that feels so damn dope. On the left side over here, you guys could see a PS5 looking really beautiful there. Love, loving this. On the other side over here, we could see what we get with this collector edition. I put an image on the left over there so you guys could see. We grab ourselves a whole lot of juicy loot. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the Regala edition. Just only this one because EB Games did not stack the Regala, but I'm really loving it. Let me kind of show you guys the top of this box over here so you guys can see what I see. Over here, y'all can see Horizon Forbidden West looking absolutely awesome. Let's have a look at the underneath of the box in case there's some sort of special code to it. But over here, it's just nice, plain and white. At the bottom over here, it just says content, as you guys know, made in Denmark. So let's kind of uh, be really gentle with this box and open it up and see exactly what we get. Alrighty, guys, now let's kind of open up the box from the top. I'm looking pretty dope. I kind of just open it like that. And as you guys can see, this is obviously where the top of the box is. But let me kind of uh, do it like just like that. There you go. Easy done. And yeah, that was a little bit of a mission there. <laughs> So damn interesting. Having a look at the packaging, fellas, this is looking absolutely awesome. We can see Aloy there, really loving the imagery they put of her. Have a look at the background, guys. Really nicely done. I'm loving the fact that there's a box within the box. That's really cool. Even on the side profile here, you guys can see all the really awesome details of the game there. Loving the environments. This paint job is looking pretty cool. On the other side over here, you guys can see a really cool image of one of the baddies. Look. Let's have a look, guys, at how gorgeous that's looking, man. This packaging is off the chain. Let's kind of check out the top over here. You guys can see Horizon Forbidden West in its amazing glory again. I'm really loving it. Let's kind of have a look at the bottom over here so we can see how the bottom looks. As you can see over there, nice and plain itself. So I'm assuming there'll be another box inside there. But let me kind of um, just kind of remove that. As you guys can see, it's coming off. And beautiful. All right, so all done. And of course, inside this box over here, it's just nice and black. So over here, you guys can see, this is where all the juicy contents are. And have a look at this. Woo! So damn excited, man. Let me kind of uh, open up this part over here. Maybe this is where we'll probably get our Steelbook Edition. As you guys can see, it's sliding off nice and gently. And let me show you guys how awesome this is looking. Because, oh my goodness gracious me. Woo! Man. You know when you, you, you get so excited? Man, I feel like this is Christmas. All right, let's just open this up. I wanna show you guys first the steelbook. Let me put that to the, underneath here. We don't wanna make that drop. But having a look at this steelbook case over here, fellas, we could see this is looking beautiful. We see alloy at the front there looking really awesome. Oh man, look at that shimmer. The side over here, there's no Horizon Forbidden West, just plain. At the back, of course, we could see some more images. Let's, let me kind of remove the awesomeness over here. If I could ramble this with my hands, and yes, I can. Well, surprise, I didn't need no knife because the hands are like shaking from excitement. But let's kind of have a look at that now, fellas. Have a look at that steelbook case, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. Back profile over here, you could see the gorgeousness. Let me kind of open this up. So inside over here, I, I get myself the full game for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 over here. So that's a full game for both. And the internals, of course, just um, warranty information. 
and the inside you can see over here have a look at alloy in her amazingness this is so damn beautiful i am so loving that i love this image over here feathers and i'm loving the fact that you get both one disappointment though is i would have appreciated a disc and also a download to be honest i don't like the fact that as a collector we did not get the disc a bit disappointing especially if you guys wanted to trade in this game down the line you can do that so sony get your shit together we should have definitely got ourselves a disc because honestly being a collector as mentioned before it's nice to have both so i put that bad boy all the way to the side over there and next over here we could see a mini art book over here and it's cuteness let's kind of uh, remove that gently and nothing else but this is a really cool looking cardboard as you guys can see some cool details there the back over here Woo! i didn't see that we could see over here forbidden west have a look at how awesome that looks that looks so damn cool wow man a little bit of damage there shit damn maybe shipping damage but yeah i want to put that back inside my cave but let's kind of have a look at this awesome book over here we can see the back detail there looking really nice on the side profile over here we could see the art of horizon forbidden west looking awesome from dark horse of course and over here we could see horizon the art of horizon forbidden west looking amazing in its glory you guys know me we're going to go through each page by page and check this out Alrighty guys, so we can see over here the front page looking really nice. Loving that sort of turquoise color over there. Looking really nice. The art of Horizon Forbidden West in all white. Loving the handwriting there in black and white. Next page over here, we could see the art of Forbidden West. And have a look at this, fellas. We, we can see on the left over there, the publisher is Mike Richardson. The editor is Ian Tucker. So these bad boys, or well, these guys, felt, rather, they did a really great job. Have a look at how awesome that's looking over there. Let's kind of check out the next page of Forbidden West. We could see all the different atmospheres and jungles. This is looking so beautiful. I cannot wait to experience this bad boy on the PC, maybe next year. But man, this is looking gorgeous. Have a, have a look at this side over here. This is looking beautiful. Next page over here, page 10. We could see Aloe in her glory there. We could see, whoa, man. You know, it's really... It's really amazing that people could draw so good when it comes to steelbooks and even uh, art books. Like, you know, it's it's a talent. So Scars of War, you could see different kinds of machines there. Over here, we could see Alloy again with different kinds of weapons, yeah. That's looking pretty dope. We could see over here the different kind of schematics, all the details, the bags and stuff like that. I'm really loving art books. Over here, the tribes of Serum, different tribes and all, and also the tribes Uturu, or Taru, rather. Look at that, man. Isn't that cool? Tribes, so the queen, or the quinn. Man, that is a really cool looking art artwork there. And we got the Tanaketh. Well, man, this is some cool shit. Art books, baby. All right, now next page over here, we could see some more cool sinister drawings. All right, let's have a look at this one over here. Man, that's some crazy, crazy ass tribes and drawings. Very colorful though. Kind of reminds me back at home in my culture, being in Nabele. But yeah, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. We got some more images over here. We could see that red and blue, multicolored. Over here, the Regala. This is obviously the statue that you guys will be able to experience if you guys got the Regala edition. So jealous whoever got it. <laughs> and of course, over here, we could see some more crazy images of these different tribes. And some more crazy imagery here. Man, I'm loving the way different kinds of dawn and daytime cycles this game has so the cauldrons as well we could see that loving the way that looks and the machines as well man look at that let's, let's kind of go to the next page over here different crazy backgrounds and of course page 48 i think which is the last page very small but very antique mini art book over here let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but this is cute, but I do wish it was a little bit bigger with a bit more lore, but overall, a really awesome 
piece of loot. Alrighty, fellas. And let's, let's have a look at the big elephant of the room, the really dope looking statue. And over here, you guys can see there was a lot of shipping damage because over here on this side, it's actually poking in. And I'm a bit disappointed that mine was delivered this way, but touch wood, there's no damage when it comes to the statue. But now over here, you guys can see, this is a really big statue. And I want to kind of put this bad boy to the side over here so we can really appreciate the art of this box first. So over here, you guys could see, let me kind of remove the piece of paper there. We could see over here, Horizon Forbidden West, and of course, instructions of the statue. Let me kind of open up this manual here so we could see how this works. But over here, you guys could see, this is how you basically put it together. So I'm assuming you got to put those two bad boys inside there and the other two, like a Lego box, of course, and connect the tail of the back. And these are all of the pieces when it comes to the actual statues. That's pretty easy done. The back over here, just more information about the manual. Different languages, as you can see over here, includes delicate pieces, handle with care. So this is going to definitely break easy. And over here, of course, is an image in terms of how that would absolutely look like. So overall, this is pretty dope. So let's, let's kind of have a look at this box over here because you guys know me. I, you guys know me. I love artwork and boxes and have a look at how cool up that image looks like. I really appreciated the uh, Dying Light 2 box, having that cool Easter egg in it. But this is beautiful, man. Have a look at all the details of this box. Even the side profile there, you guys could see all that awesome background. On this side, over here too, you could see it looking pretty cool. Even the box at the back here, looking very nice. Side profile, so you guys could see it. Let's see what's underneath. Of course, underneath over here, made in China. Nothing too special. But of course, looking really dope. And of course, you guys saw this bad boy earlier. So what I'll just do is I'll pop, I kind of just pop that bad boy back inside here. So it's nice and contact. And there you go. You guys can see. You got to have respect for your loot. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'll show you guys that. But now let me put this lovely box to the side over here. And now let's kind of go back to this cool looking statue. Because the statue over here is what we probably all came here to see. And how am I going to address this? So I think the best way is to kind of maybe lie it down. And kind of just pop it off just like that. Easy done. And right now we've got a lot of small things and trinkets. So what I'll do right now is I'll probably just get Eloy. I want to show you guys her first. She's all the way on the right. So over here, fellas, is Eloy in her gorgeous Gloria. Let me kind of tap to zoom so y'all can see her. Have a look at how cute she looks, man. Whoa, isn't she cute? She is so damn cute. I am loving Alloy, but yeah, she's looking really nice. Loving every detail of her. So I reckon overall, they did a pretty good job at her. Even having a look at the detail of the bottom over here. Doesn't feel too cheap at all. Over here, we could see it says 16 grade Tomorrowland Street, UK. So it's interesting to see that they actually put the address in terms of where this was actually made. Isn't that crazy? Made in China, of course. But it's not made in China. But of course, we got alloy there having a look at her detail the tie they're looking really dope her spear her face over here i think they did a pretty good job of the face as we could see over there i reckon this is a cool looking trinket guys i kind of do wish there was a bigger statue of alloy though let's place that bad boy to the side and of course this statue is pretty massive so what i'll do right now is i'll place i'll put i'll kind of put all these components together and then we could see exactly how awesome this statue on the left over here looks like. Alrighty, fellas. So they made it pretty simple. So as you guys could see over here in the inside, there's different colors to each kind of pieces here. So if I kind of just sort of tap to zoom over there, you guys could see in the inside over there, it's got a kind of orange-like color. So all you got to do over here with the statue is kind of match it to the colors that it actually has. So orange actually goes, or red actually goes all the way inside here. And you kind of pop it on over there. It's easy done. And even over here, you guys can see there's a color of yellow. And that yellow bad boy will kind of match on any yellow or orange peel over here. So this bad boy should probably go inside here. So yeah, pretty easy. So all you guys got to just do is match the colors to the pieces of the statue. Okay, guys, now let's go through all the details of this really cool looking statue. So, of course, we've seen Aloe on the left over there. We've seen all the details. But I want to kind of show you guys an in-depth focus of the paint job of this. Let's kind of move the camera a bit so we can see every corner of the statue. Overall, fellas, it's looking good. I want to lie. The paint job, exceptionally well done. As you guys can see over here, let me sort of just tap to zoom there. 
you could see part of the side over here has a kind of worn out paint job and every bit of the statue over here was done exceptionally well just have a look at this side profile man you could see all the guts the juiciness of the statue so overall i think they did a sensational job when it came to rip the kidding from the game so overall wow even the base itself over here feels very premium no sort of ta -ta -ta sound very premium just listen to this so it's got a very nice sort of stiff base so it does not feel cheap like those full art statues to be honest but having a look at the back over here you guys could see some more awesome detail of this crazy ass monster i'm really loving what they did here so overall fellas i'm really happy with the design even on the side over here let me just sort of tilt it on here looking very nice every bit of the statue is screaming yes so well done one thing i don't like though about the statue to be honest is i was not able to get this part in to save my life it was impossible and honestly i'm thinking you gotta really be stiff with these things so putting on these things over here they weren't hard at all but this one over here it's impossible to actually get inside that little hole over there as you guys can see right over there so pretty much impossible but honestly i think it's a really cool design the fact that you put these things inside the statue but overall, I think this part over here, this yellow part here, it actually didn't match the whole sockets on that side either. So that was a little bit disappointing. But overall, you guys know me, I'm a collector, so I'll probably end up just packing this back inside the box. But in case you guys wanted to, wanted to display this, bear in mind, you have to really struggle putting this in. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys picked up a collector edition and had the same issue as me. But overall... Out of 10, this is gorgeous. I am loving every bit of the statue. Just one sort of, you know, one little mistake, but overall, a beautiful looking collector edition. So yeah, we have it, people. The Horizon Forbidden West collector edition. One of my final thoughts. I think this is a really dope looking collector edition. Loving every element of it. The packaging, the imagery, the detail. Oh my goodness, of that awesome looking monster there looking very very cool alloy honestly down there she looks nice as well the steel book fantastic the art book amazing the only one thing i do wish we had though was a a4 one to one scale art book that would look really dope and most importantly if it was a bit more lore in the art book that would really take this collector edition to the next level but overall fellas this is a really cool and beautiful collector edition i would absolutely recommend you guys to pick this up if it's available within your country but if you guys enjoyed this video you fellas know what to do give me a like and a subscribe i am the loot gamer thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Deuces.